Some of you may know, I haven't been feeling very well. <coughs> Recovering from a bit of a cold. <coughs> so, obviously when you're sick, you wanna make chicken soup. But the problem is that you're sick and you don't really wanna do anything, let alone make chicken soup from scratch. So, I'm gonna show you. <coughs> so I'm gonna show you how to make chicken soup for yourself with minimal effort using a few tricks. Using a few tricks from the grocery store, one of which being, it's probably the best item in the grocery store, a perfect rotisserie chicken, right? Shred off all of the meat. This is going to quicken up the process for you, I'm trying to get fed as quickly as possible with as much good stuff in the soup as I can. So we're starting off with this rotisserie chicken. We've got a bounty of vegetables here, which is what we want. We want to feel better. So I've got some garlic. Garlic's got a lot of health benefits. I've got some thyme, fresh rosemary, baby carrots here, and I don't want to peel the skin. All the nutrients are in the skin, and I just want to clean them, and an easy way to do that is get yourself like a brand new sponge, and then you can run it under cold water and use the rough side and just clean them off without taking too much of that skin off. Probably like two to three big carrots or six or seven small carrots. Three stalks of celery, two onion, a small bunch of kale, and some fresh parsley. I've also got some bay leaf and some lemon. One of my favorite things from Trader Joe's is their organic chicken stock. It's like $2 a box, so it's cheaper than most. If you're near Trader Joe's, I'd stock up on this if you're gonna go there. Uh, otherwise, get your favorite box. If anyone recognizes this, it probably takes you way back. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is called pastina. It's definitely more of a tradition in Italian households. Yeah, you can see it there. So they're basically just like little stars. And for some reason, uh, this was the only kind of pasta I grew up eating chicken soup with. I otherwise use, like, you could use ditalini. You could really use what any, any kind of pasta that you like. This is the one that I like to use. So probably going to use about, probably about a third of the box. I don't know, maybe uh, a quarter cup. Or here's the thing with the pasta and chicken soup is we're going to be making an, enough of it so that you have leftovers so you can eat it a few times. And what I don't like is if you add all of the pasta in when you make the big batch of soup and you put it away, the pasta just starts to suck up all the water and gets all waterlogged and soft, kind of yucky. So what I like to do is make the soup and put that into quart containers like this or any sort of like Tupperware or whatever. And then whenever you want to make soup, you could just pour this into a pot, heat it up, and then add yourself like a quarter cup of the pastina or pasta. And, and then you have fresh soup whenever you want. I have some Parmesan cheese for the top, cause you know, one way that I always add flavor and spice, clear up the nasal passage, is my good friend Frank. Use whatever hot sauce you like. You don't need to use hot sauce at all. I find it adds flavor and it really clears up your sinuses at a time you need it most. I'm gonna just prep the vegetables. It's sort of all gonna go into the pot and um, try and get this over with as soon as possible. Do this in the sink. I'm just doing this for educational purposes. Make sure you dedicate that sponge just for vegetables. So now they're nice and clean, no dirt, nice and shiny, and we'll get all those nice uh, nutrients in the skin. I'm just gonna cut them in half and do half moons, get it over with real quick. All the vegetables are gonna go into the same bowl. I'm gonna take these dried up tips off and give these guys a rinse. Just split it down the middle. You can leave them like that or you could even do one more time. We've gone over this a whole bunch of times. I've even made a whole video about it. Mm. 
carrot, celery, onion. That's the base of the soup. Just gonna set that aside. Garlic's really good for you. So I'm just gonna take a whole bunch of cloves. And Brad over at Bon Appetit says you gotta smash them and it releases this chemical called allicin that's supposedly like a really strong antibacterial fighter. So that's what we're gonna do. into my vegetables. Got kale that I gotta wash. Remember I showed you how to do kale too, so I'm just gonna take the colander. And I just wanna chop it down into smaller pieces. Call it four cups of kale. And then I got my chicken. And in there you got all this chicken juice, right? And I want that stuff too. So what I'm just gonna do is keep the bin over here to the side. I'm just gonna take this guy off. These guys are pull apart tender. You just rip off all of the pieces. Take that skin off because you don't really need it. Make sure you get that oyster meat at the bottom. That's the best part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pieces that I want and then I'm just gonna pull them into the, the juices that are in this little pan over here. Rotisserie chickens are the best. And then you just pull the breast off and you just shred the breast. You don't want big, thick pieces. You wanna kinda of shred it so that it's nice and throughout. And just go through and pull all the meat off the chicken. And I just wanna mix all of the chicken into that chicken fat and chicken juice. Get it all absorbed. Two bay leaves. Got some bread too. Let's just get it all into this pot. Let's start cooking. You need some good bread with soup. So I'm just gonna throw this in the, <coughs> put this in the oven, get it nice and toasty, and then just cut it into little strips. Just kind of top it off with a little more Franks. Get that nasal passage cleared up. Here, let me show you the pastina. So they're just like little balls of pasta. Now you can cozy up in bed, pop on your favorite Netflix, and then just relax. Don't do anything. Take care of yourself. Now obviously the longer you cook this, the better. If you need it right away, 30 minutes on the stove, throw some pastina, and you're good. You've got your, the rest of your soups back here. Cool in, we're gonna put a lid on them. When you're ready to reheat them, put them in a stove. If there's not enough liquid, just add some more water to thin it back out. Add a quarter cup of your favorite pasta, and then you're good to go. Make this this weekend, just as a preventative measure, and uh, let me know what you think. Now it's time for me to go rest. No, I'm, get, I'm feeling better. That's it for me. Like the page, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave a comment down below. Tell me how you're doing. Much love. See you next time. And please go feed yourself and take care of yourself.